Attorney General Bill Barr firing back at Democrats who claim he lied to Congress. It's a laughable charge, and I think it's largely being made to try to discredit me, partly because they may be concerned about the outcome of a, of a review of what happened during the uh, election. GOP Congressman Devin Nunes is a ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee, and he joins us now to react. Welcome. Good morning. Okay, hey, great to be with you guys this morning. So what do you make of A.G. Barr coming out and saying that Democrats are trying to discredit me? We actually have, actually, we actually have a tweet from Comey I want to get to, and I want to get your reaction to. It says the A.G. should stop sliming his own department. If there are bad facts, show us or search for them professionally, and then tell us what you found. An A.G. must act like the leader of the Department of Justice, an organization based on truth. Donald Trump has enough spokespeople. So this, the reason I wanted to get to this is this speaks to exactly what A.G. Barr is talking about, does it not? Yeah, I think what we have here is we have a whole bunch of Americans and former leaders living in an alternative reality, trying to create a narrative to cover up their tracks of what they really did, which is they used the counterintelligence capabilities in this country to target a political campaign. So Attorney General Barr is not going to be swayed, uh, neither are the Republicans in the House. Uh, so we're going to continue to get the facts. Well, along those lines, there's a report in the Daily Caller about uh, notes that seem to reveal uh, what Christopher Steele was telling uh, Department of State officials uh, in the Obama administration, revealing that there were Russian sources for the dossier. We've had this question yeah. about whether the whole thing was Russian disinformation. We seem to be getting new information suggesting, yes, it was. Yeah, Ed, thanks for asking that question. So first of all, this is information that the House Republicans and the Intelligence Committee should have had. So these were notes that were taken before the FISA was gotten on Carter Page in the fall of 16. So this is a couple of weeks before. In those notes that were not provided to Congress, we now see not only does, does the State Department not believe Christopher Steele, the Clinton campaign operative, mm -hmm. because he thinks that there's actually a Russian consulate in Miami, uh, it also has the sources. Now, who, are one of the, who's, who is one of these sources? One of the sources is one of the equivalent of the CIA director, former CIA director in Moscow uh, for, the, for the Russian government. Now, think about that. Do we really think that a former CIA director equivalent in, in Russia would be working uh, with our intelligence community and be some kind of asset. So basically you're saying it's, it's, a KGB it's guy it's working yes. with this ex-British spy yeah. funded by the DNC and the Clinton campaign, essentially a KGB guy is feeding this yeah. anti-Trump stuff. And first of all, if that was true, that guy would have been would have disappeared a long time ago. So, so Christopher Steele's making these outrageous claims about Russian consulates in Miami and mm -hmm. all these high-level former KGB spies. It just doesn't make any sense. It's laughable, and that's why this whole thing uh, is is so dangerous because we continue to have. Uh, the mainstream media create these fake, fake narratives that are poisoning the minds of the American people when the truth is is that the Democrats in the Clinton campaign are the ones that plainly colluded with Russians. So Representative Nunes, what comes next here in terms of actually getting answers when it comes to the origin of this investigation? Because Americans really want to know now. They feel very misled by the media for a very long time and now they're looking and saying what was the basis for this investigation to begin with? Will they get answers on that? Yeah, so that's why we've made criminal referrals. Uh, it's likely now, as we, as we do our investigation, as to why we didn't get this information that we were just discussing uh, from the State Department uh, two years ago when we should have received it. Uh, there could be another uh, referral coming on obstructing a congressional investigation. So those are sitting, uh, the Attorney General has uh, our concerns. Uh, we assume that that will be given to the new U.S. attorney that's been assigned to get to the bottom of this. Uh, and then, look, we'll just keep peeling things back. So as more evidence comes out, we'll continue to grab that evidence and we'll analyze it and we'll make referrals to the Justice Department. This is how it's supposed to work in this country. Oh. We have the rule of law. We have people that clearly broke the law. Uh, and they need to be held accountable. Well, that may be why James Comey and others are speaking out now, a little bit concerned about everything you're talking about. Uh, the Inspector General, Michael Horowitz, of the Justice Department, coming out with his report in the next few weeks or so. Congressman Devin Nunes, appreciate you coming in, sir. Thanks. Great to be with you guys.